What I want to do, what I'm excited to do, is to share with my students uh, the, the passion that I feel for mathematics. I want them to, to see the beauty that I see in the subject. To share with them that math is not just something that occurs in this sort of abstract setting of the classroom and standardized tests, but is something that um, not only is useful in the world, uh, but actually it's just sort of omnipresent. It's all around us. Planning, 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 planning. I'm every day brainstorming what I'm going to do with them, what kinds of things uh, I'll do at different parts of the, the year, different you know, places in the curriculum, um, what my routine will be. So it's, it's a very exciting time. I, I want to strengthen myself in basically every component of, uh, of teaching. You know, classroom management is a, is a big area for me that I think I can improve in. I, I want to work on building rapport with my students. I want them to, to know me as a person, not just as a teacher. I want you know, them to respect me and to like me and to trust me who my students are, prior test scores, teacher reports, uh, demographics, boy, girl. I just want to know sort of the lay of the land. Uh, I, I want to see what other teachers are doing as far as um, keeping track of their students' progress towards standardized uh, tests. Who am I as a teacher? Boy, I should have rehearsed for that one. I, I am as a teacher, in some ways, the person that I was as a student. You know, I, I think it's very important to retain the curiosity that I had when I was at the age of my students and to show them that, you know, at my age, I still have curiosity and interest in and passion for the things that I'm trying to get them to learn. Uh, I love math. I think it's awesome, like legitimately. If I wasn't teaching math, I would still be doing math on my own time. And uh, that's, that's who I am. I'm someone who wants to inspire my students to, to see math in the way that I do. I, I want to show them how cool it is. Things are going really well. I had management issues. I would say for the first five or six weeks, just I struggled to sort of get a handle of uh, what was going on, who my students were. Um, I, I wasn't prepared, frankly, for uh, managing middle school students, but by trial and error, I think I've, I've, I'm approaching having figured it out, and I, I'm starting to feel like an actual teacher as opposed to an imposter. Because I travel on a cart, I have had to adjust my teaching model to fit the room because it's not my room I've got to adapt to you know my environment and that's been a challenge it's been a real struggle for me working with my kids uh, they're great they're a lot of fun I've gotten to the point of knowing who my students are um, knowing what drives them what you know what they think is funny what they're interested in it's a job in which I can sort of be creative and um, and uh, there's never a dull moment I guess oh boy I've changed I have become a teacher who is very concerned with students obeying procedure and routine. I started the year as a teacher who was like, you know, funny and engaging, um, and uh, while I still want to be those things, I've got a lot more of an emphasis now on, on, you know, like you know what your expectations are when you come into my class. It's a very procedure-oriented environment. Things are going increasingly well, um, trying to manage 30 middle schoolers in the same classroom. Um, was initially very challenging for me, but I feel like I've actually kind of got the hang of it now. It's, um, management comes a lot more naturally to me. What I say goes now, whereas in the beginning, I think that wasn't necessarily the case. I was much more of a negotiator. Just determining what I feel like is my role in the school, because I'm wearing a couple different hats right now. I teach an after-school program, and I have the Dream Academy, and then I've got regular classes. I don't know at this moment which of those I think is my calling. Hope that I will have a great day. That hope has been a lot more consistently fulfilled recently. It was kind of hard last semester when I was having rough days and behavior management was a big issue and you know I didn't feel like I was doing a good job. That was it was harder back then to get out of bed in the morning. Now it's now that things are going better, it's a lot easier. I'm pleased with how experimental I'm able to be right now. I feel like I've got the behavior management down enough that I can actually experiment with lesson design and I'm really enjoying doing that. I think I'm doing a good job of, of being creative in that regard. I think I'm also good at being positive. I think my, my kids are, are appreciating my increased positivity. No air conditioning and 95 degree days mean that it can be tough later periods of the day to keep kids on task, but besides that, things are wrapping up pretty smoothly. 
I uh, really am looking forward to having a summer of reflection, summer of planning for the coming year, a summer that will be restful. I feel a strong need to reset after the school year. That kind of is, is pretty motivating at this point. I, I really want to get to a, a, the, the place, which is the summer, where I have the time to reflect and to um, consider what it is that my job entails and consider you know, what the definition of a teacher is. Yeah, I really don't know. I, I really, this year has, has uh, upended everything that I thought was true um, about teaching. There's a certain naivety that comes with only being a first year and only having this particular experience with this particular group of kids. It's really tough for me to know like whether what I'm doing is just, is it, is it bad or is it like not working for these specific kids? Yeah, um, so I, I, who am I as a teacher? I don't, I don't know. I definitely have uh, a lot of thinking to do about that one. Know where you are. Yeah, figure out the place. Figure out the, the context in which you find yourself. Who are your students? What do they need? Uh, be true to yourself. Don't, don't let yourself be influenced too much by colleagues, especially ones with pessimistic outlooks. I guess that's, that's probably a pretty big thing. You know, there's, there is, I, I estimate, within every school, um, probably positive and negative currents of conversation. Um, steer clear of the negative ones. Yeah, otherwise, you'll wind up a cynic real fast. It didn't happen to me. But I, I, I could have said it could have. It's it's been it's been very tough. I, I will always look back and say to myself like um, I made it through this, so I know that I I can I can do it. I I really think that this is probably going to be the most challenging year of my career. Um, that's what I'll take away probably. That's what I will remember the challenge.